Right now, something extraordinary is unfolding above our planet, something that has shaken even the most confident scientists at NASA and Harvard. For the first time in recorded history, Earth's magnetic field has shown a sudden, measurable shift. And it happened just days after 3i slash ATLAS, an interstellar visitor, passed silently through our cosmic neighborhood. No one can say for sure if the two events are connected, but the timing, it's far too perfect to ignore. Before we explore the mystery, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell me where you're watching from. I love seeing the countries and cities that unite under this one incredible sky. It reminds us that no matter our differences, we all live beneath the same magnetic shield that protects every heartbeat on this planet. So what exactly is happening? Let's begin with the basics. Earth's magnetic field is our invisible guardian. Generated deep inside the molten iron core, it shields us from deadly solar radiation, cosmic rays, and even helps animals navigate across continents. For centuries, it has remained relatively stable, drifting slowly but predictably. But this week, that calm balance was broken. In a matter of hours, magnetometers across the globe began recording something stunning. The field didn't just fluctuate, it twisted. The North Magnetic Pole shifted nearly 30 miles in a direction that defies the slow drift model scientists have trusted for decades. The pattern was unlike anything observed before, sharp, deliberate, as though responding to an external influence. And that's when someone noticed a chilling coincidence. Just before the shift, 3i slash ATLAS had crossed the plane of Earth's orbit. Now for those unfamiliar, 3i slash ATLAS isn't just another comet, it's what scientists call an interstellar object, a traveler from another star system. These are exceedingly rare. Only two others have ever been detected, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But unlike them, 3i slash ATLAS behaved in ways that defy our physics. Its glow wasn't chemical. Its trajectory seemed guided. And now, after it silently passed Earth, our planet's magnetic heartbeat has changed. NASA's Space Weather Prediction Center immediately called for an emergency review. Data from satellites showed a brief surge in magnetic resonance, almost like Earth had been struck by a soft, invisible wave. Yet there were no solar flares, no coronal mass ejections from the sun. The skies were quiet. The only variable was 3i slash ATLAS. Scientists are struggling to explain it. Some suggest 3i slash ATLAS could have carried a massive plasma tail that interacted with our magnetosphere. Others believe it emitted low-frequency electromagnetic pulses, barely detectable, but powerful enough to nudge the field. A few theorists even wonder if it generated a kind of gravitational echo, a temporary distortion that rippled through space and touched our core. But here's where the story becomes truly eerie. For several hours after the shift, Earth's auroras intensified, not at the poles, but near the equator. People in regions like southern China, northern India, and even Texas reported faint green arcs in the night sky. Aurora experts called it impossible. It's as if the magnetic field briefly reoriented itself, letting particles from space stream where they were never meant to go. And when the data came in from the European Space Agency's swarm satellites, the signal was unmistakable. A spiral-shaped distortion in the magnetic field, spinning counter to Earth's rotation almost as if something had brushed against our planet's magnetic skin and left a fingerprint. I've spent years studying the relationship between magnetism and cosmic forces, but this, this feels different. It feels deliberate. Some researchers at Harvard are calling it the ATLAS effect. They don't mean it as a theory of alien interference, but as a placeholder for the unknown. One scientist said it best. If the universe wanted to tap us on the shoulder, this is exactly how it would do it, through the very field that keeps us alive. Let's imagine that for a moment. If 3i slash ATLAS did somehow cause this shift, intentionally or not, what does it mean? Could it have emitted a field so vast, so ancient, that even after traveling millions of years through interstellar space, it still had the power to touch a planet's core? Some physicists argue that it's impossible. Yet, the data says otherwise. 
NASA's magnetometers in Alaska, Greenland, and Antarctica all registered identical distortions within the same two-minute window, something that has never happened before. The synchronization suggests the disturbance wasn't local. It was global. Imagine Earth for a moment as a giant tuning fork humming with magnetic energy. 3i slash ATLAS passed nearby, and it was as if a second fork, massive unseen, struck the same note. The resonance could explain the shift. It could even mean that the object carried its own magnetic field, something so alien that it briefly synchronized with ours. But what kind of natural object could do that? Astronomers are baffled. Even the largest comets we've seen lack the density and energy for such effects. Some now speculate 3i slash ATLAS may not be a solid body at all, but a plasma structure, a cloud of charged particles held together by magnetic cohesion, that would make it more like a living field than a rock, a magnetic organism drifting through the stars. If that's true, then its interaction with Earth wasn't a collision, it was communication. Think of whales singing across oceans using vibrations to connect. What if 3i slash ATLAS did something similar, sending a wave across the cosmic sea and our magnetic field responded like an echo? This is where imagination meets science and both tremble. Because if 3i slash ATLAS was capable of that, then it may not just be an object, it may be part of a larger system, a galactic network of electromagnetic entities passing information through resonance instead of radio waves. NASA for now remains cautious. Their official statement calls the shift a temporary magnetic anomaly of uncertain origin. But behind closed doors, Several agencies are exchanging data at unprecedented speed. The Department of Energy, NOAA, and even the U.S. Navy are analyzing how the field change affected satellites, submarines, and global navigation. Early results are unsettling. Several communication satellites briefly lost synchronization. Compasses in northern latitudes flickered. Even migratory birds in Canada were seen flying in erratic patterns as if confused by invisible currents. And deep in the Arctic Circle, one research station recorded a sound, a low droning hum that lasted for several minutes after the shift. The source? Unknown. Could this be a coincidence? Maybe. But every scientist I've spoken to admits this. Coincidences this perfect are rare. And here's where we must pause and look at the bigger picture. Humanity has always lived in the comfort of assumption that Earth is stable, that physics is predictable, that space is silent. But events like this remind us that we are still learning. The universe is not a static machine. It's alive with motion, energy, and surprise. Somewhere out there, 3i slash ATLAS continues its journey, now heading toward the outer edges of our solar system. It has gone dark, no longer reflecting light the way it once did. But that may be the most unsettling part. When it first appeared, it glowed unnaturally bright, pulsing as if signaling. And now, after this magnetic event, that light is gone. It's as though it completed its task. If we think of it in human terms, it's almost poetic. A messenger passing by, delivering something unseen, and fading back into the night. Maybe it wasn't meant to communicate in our language. Maybe the language was magnetic, a universal pulse that only planets can hear. When I was a child, I built my first radio using scrap metal and wire. I remember the thrill of hearing faint voices from far away, people I'd never met speaking across invisible airwaves. It felt like magic, but it wasn't magic. It was physics, hidden in plain sight. And perhaps that's what we're witnessing now, a universal signal, not through sound or light, but through the most ancient medium of all, magnetism. I often tell my students, the universe doesn't shout. It whispers, and those whispers are written in fields, waves, and the subtle tremors that dance across the void. If 3i slash ATLAS has taught us anything, it's that we must learn to listen differently. Because maybe, just maybe, this wasn't a threat. It was an invitation. An invitation to evolve our understanding of connection, to realize that the cosmos itself might be a living network bound by invisible lines of force, each star, each planet, each traveler, connected by magnetic threads of time and energy. And we, here on Earth, just felt one of those threads move. 
So I'll leave you with this thought. What if this shift wasn't a warning, but a handshake? Do you believe 3 I slash ATLAS caused Earth's magnetic field to shift? Or do you think something deeper is at play? Tell me your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who still gazes up at the stars with wonder. Because someday soon, when science catches up with mystery, we might realize that the universe has always been speaking to us, not through words, not through light, but through the silent, powerful hum of its magnetic heart. And when that realization comes, we'll finally understand that every pulse, every shift, every cosmic visitor is part of a single beautiful conversation, one that began long before humanity and one that will continue long after we are gone.